Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an ad drop that has a potential of giving us at least five to ten thousand dollars. I know this because this is going to be season two and in season one of this ad drop, we did make a lot of money. Me and everybody here within our Discord community made a lot of money. So you can see here on this ad drop, they had a second ad drop on top of the first one. On the first one, you can see here I got about four hundred and forty seven. And on a second ad drop, I got about 216, which gives me a total of more than about 650. And I was selling at around $5 per token. And here, if I can just refresh this, I want to show you that I did receive the ad drop. And you can see this is the ad drop that I got, about 445 tokens that I received. And I want you to see the breakdown here in terms of the layer zero core and also the ad drop that I received from the core. So that's one thing i wanted to show you here that i did receive the first airdrop and obviously they did a second airdrop but the one that i'm talking about here is going to be season two so in this video i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide with regards to what you need to do in order for you to qualify for this airdrop and basically in my point of view you must have at least received the first airdrop or have interactions within the first phase one of the airdrop even though you may not have received the airdrop so that could give you you know a potential of ending this the phase two of the airdrop so let's go through the things that you need to do obviously i have this list i'm gonna leave it in the description of this video this some of you may, may already have it because i published it last year but the one thing i want to take advantage of here is using the core which is going to be number seven which is this one it gave me a lot of tokens if you check here you can see that it gave me a lot of tokens in terms of after the layer zero core then i had the core dao which was 59 tokens and the rest were, were about stargate for example was about 14 and the rest were about three so it wasn't a lot but i got a lot from the layer zero core and the core dao so i want to use the core down and obviously stargate in this video i'm going to show you how to use stargate as well the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have at least five to ten thousand in volume because we don't know the criteria that they will use this time in fact the ceo came out on twitter said the criteria may look different so we need to pay attention to that but the most important thing is fees spent when you're transacting on the blockchain so let's actually go ahead and get started here the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to come here to my sub account and i actually want to withdraw about 700 dollars that i can use for me to then transfer to my wallet so i'm just gonna get about 700 dollars here let's move this from the unified trading account and i'm gonna confirm this then i can come here on my other account on bybit so you can see i've got these funds here now i can click withdraw and i can actually go ahead and copy my wallet address from here then from here i want to select usdt then paste this wallet again guys this is for our test this is where we actually do our tutorial this is not my main wallet but sometimes it does receive airdrop i think maybe i received about a thousand dollars on the airdrops so i'm gonna click max and i'm using the arbitrum one as a blockchain i'll confirm this and submit so while we're waiting for that to reflect within our wallet let's actually go through what we want to be doing in this video so like i said guys you can use the code down number seven here within this list so i'm just going to click on that and go to that specific website and basically here you can move funds from one chain to another i'm probably just going to show you how to use this i'm not exactly sure if i have core within my wallet to pay for gas fees but again you can withdraw call directly from bybit if you don't have bybit you can find the link in the description of this video here you can see the funds that we just withdraw they just arrived on our wallet and you can see this is the withdrawal directly from bybit so now we can start using it basically what i want to show you in this video the most important thing here is that you spend a lot of fees when you're transacting so if you can accumulate at least fees of about ten dollars to twenty dollars i think you'll be positioning yourself in a good space to receive the airdrop so we know that we have the funds on the arbitrum network so i'm gonna go ahead and select that then i'm gonna select this is the usdt that we just withdrew from bybit then what i want to do in this case is is to bring this to binance because this is gonna i'm gonna show you different ways 
So once you're here, you can either select from these two transactions. By the way, this is stargate.finance. I'll leave the link also in the description of this video or you'll get the link within this document over here. So once you're on Stargate, I'm just going to use this one here. If you're using the more expensive one, it doesn't mean that you're paying a lot of fees on layer zero, but it means that you're paying a lot of fees on Stargate themselves. So let me actually show you how the transactions work. Let's go ahead and approve that. And you can see this transaction was sent successfully let's click on that and you can see this transaction cost about 30 cents right yes that is about 30 cents on gas fees so you want these transactions to accumulate let's actually check this one as well and this one so i'm checking both of them so we want to see how much it cost you can see this one doesn't cost much so it's about two transactions so this is about the 30 cent one and obviously this is this one so now we've got the transaction from arbitrum to binance smart chain so now let's do our second transactions but you shouldn't be moving funds up and down for example we just move usdt from arbitrum to binance smart chain what you shouldn't be doing is to flip this around and now move this money immediately because that's going to be seen as wash trading and you could get disqualified from doing that oh okay it's actually better because we have usdc that we can move to arbitrum because we move USDT, so it's not going to be seen as watch trading. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here on Stargate. And instead of moving the USDT from Arbitrum, I'm just going to move USDC. And then now moving it from Binance to Arbitrum. Now here you can see it also costs a lot of money when it comes to Stargate. But as you could see that this transaction doesn't show here when it comes to the transaction fee. So you want to go to the scanner and actually look at the transaction. So this is the fee that you're paying to the layer zero protocol. So these fees must accumulate to at least $10, I think, in my opinion. So I'm going to select the cheaper one here. It's going to take a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and transfer this. I'll go ahead and confirm this. Now I'm moving this from Binance my chain. And I'll confirm it again. Now let's click on this one and see how much are we paying on gas. Now this is still on Binance Smart Chain, so this is not the scanner that we're looking for. The scanner that we're looking for is the one that shows the layer zero, this one here. While we wait, because this is going to take six minutes, we don't have that much time. What I can do, I can come here and actually exchange. Let's actually buy some BNB so that we can have some funds for gas fees. So I'm going to spend $5. I don't know why this transaction doesn't want to go through, so we can do the same thing on Pancake Swap. Again, you just have to look through this list here. I know I do have pancake swap here. The reason why I want you guys to use only links within this list here is simply because I don't want you guys to go and click on websites that are phishing websites. I don't want you to go and lose your money. So let's spend that $5 here and I'll go ahead and swap this. And you can see this actually works. So let's actually move this usdt and move it to usdc so i'm gonna move the entire amount or we can move about 500 dollars i'll go ahead and swap that the reason why i'm doing this is simply because remember we had moved this usdt from arbitrum to binance my chain and if you want to do the transaction so quickly you need to be moving a different currency so that whatever you're doing it's not detected as wash trading you can see that transaction has gone through so now we can come back to stargate and now i can click here and i should have 500 usdt so i'm going to click on that and then i'm bringing that over to arbitrum let's just select this cheaper one this expensive one here so that we can get our transaction done very quickly so you guys can see it here and see how much it cost and that went through so let's click on that and you can see this scanner here is different from this one right so this is the one that we're looking for and you can see here this is good because we're paying about 64 cents so if you do about 25 transactions you will have over 10 dollars of trading fees that you've spent directly on layer zero and that could qualify you for a big chunk of a drop so you want to make sure that you have about 25 of these transactions where you actually spent about 64 cents and obviously you can go and spend transactions on ethereum probably pay five dollars per transaction and obviously the more money you spend on transaction fees the more likely you are to receive a bigger airdrop because it's all about the amount of money that you spend on gas fees so 
again i'm gonna repeat it's not about these gas fees that you're paying here okay let's click on this one as well you will see that it always gives you guys two two transactions and you can see this is 0 0.08 so this doesn't cost a lot but the first one cost about 64 cents which is good so let's just select usdt so that i can show you guys this remember it's not about these transactions that you're paying here because this one you're paying directly to stargate what we're looking for is transactions that you're paying when you're actually doing a transaction for example if you hover over here and it will give you information that says the amount of money that is paid to block producers to produce these transactions which means this is the amount of money that goes directly to the layer zero or that is spent on the layer zero protocol and this is what we're looking for we need to be spending a lot of money here and obviously if you do this via the ethereum network you could be you know reaching these funds very very quickly so it's also a good idea that you move funds here from directly from the mainnet ethereum mainnet and you could move it to whatever chains that you're looking for so that's one thing i wanted to show you guys and obviously it's very important that you use also the core dao because as you saw earlier on that i did receive a chunk of tokens because i was using this specific website and obviously i'll leave the links in the description of this video and also the link to buy bit because you can also buy a core directly from there and send it directly to your wallet for gas fees my name is at designer i'll see you guys on the next video goodbye for now peace